Um, LGBTI people face challenges in terms of, you know, issues of gender-based violence wherever sure. they are. It doesn't uh, matter the country that they're in. Yeah. It's not only in Namibia, but wherever you go. Um, okay, so welcome to it. Uh, there's an event uh, happening this coming Saturday. Uh, it's the upcoming pop-up Pride Bash that is set to bring people from all walks of life together. That is, of course, uh, in celebration of unity, entertainment, and of course, Pride as well. The event forms part of the, the 16 Days of Activism Against Gender-Based Violence which commences uh, this coming Saturday, the 25th of uh, November, leading up to the uh, the Human Rights Day, which is commemorated on the 10th of uh, December annually. Joining me in the studio to tell us more are Zindri Swartz, an experienced stage manager and production coordinator, as well as uh, Nom Samanzini, the uh, national coordinator at uh, Iranti Org. I hope I'm saying that correctly. That is all the way from uh, Johannesburg, South Africa. Very good evening to you guys and welcome. Hi, Hi, Sean. How Thank are you? We're good, we're good. <laughs> Uh, thanks for having us. We're yeah. quite excited to be here. Welcome. FM. Welcome, Nomsa. First time in Namibia, no? No, 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 it's not our first time. Um, yeah? It's my fourth time. Fourth time yeah. here. Yeah. Did I say that correctly, by the way? Iranti? Iranti, yes. Iranti yes. Org. Yes. Okay, there we go. All right, let's get right into the business of things. Uh, Zindri, I'll start with you. Tell us about uh, the inspiration behind the, the pop-up Pride Bash. The inspiration actually came about when a group of queer entrepreneurs sat down, yeah. queer young creative entrepreneurs yeah. sat down and decided to look at ways to better the community. What mm -hmm. can we do to actually enhance the quality of life for our community? Sure. Because there are also not a lot of opportunities out here for queer entrepreneurs. I mean, things like selling pride flags, for mm -hmm. example, which there is a demand for, but nobody supplies. Yeah. And your audience is the queer community. Yeah. Where do you go and sell that? Yeah. So this was basically the inspiration behind Pride Pop-Up, as well as uh, promoting and cultivating queer artists mm. uh, and giving them the space that they've been denied for so long yep. to actually take up space yep. and practice their craft and do what they love to do which is perform as sure. well as make money at the same time sure and that is how it was formalized what would you say is the main aim of the of the event the a main aim main purpose of of this very event the main event uh, the main purpose of this event is actually to be a bridge from the to the community yeah. to the artist to your client yeah. for example it is promoting the culture of entrepreneurship yeah. it is about networking it is about again enhancing the quality of life for our community and that is, is the basic aim and purpose of pride pop-up all right awesome stuff norms i'll just be with you in just a moment i still have one more question for zendri before we get to you yeah. uh, the theme is connecting businesses through entertainment describe that for us well entertainment is a business on its own let's start yeah with that. <laughs> of course <laughs> and for example branding for example uh, this is a platform uh, that helps artists grow for example that promotes them in their own way teaching them about their own business as yeah. the artist itself yeah. however it is also about creating spaces for the community which is and entrepreneurs from all walks of life vendors whether you are selling food the beverages yeah. uh, teaching uh, teaching as well as providing the platform for to do so sure. by linking them up with the correct network which also includes some corporates which also uh, includes some um, what is the word to use uh, but different 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 types of opportunities sure Nomsa, let's talk to you now. Yes. Uh, with the event forming part of the 16 days of activism leading up to Human Rights Day on the 10th of December, can you perhaps maybe share with us uh, some of the challenges that the LGBTQ plus community faces in Namibia, perhaps uh, in, in communities in general? Okay. Um, I think uh, one thing that I would say is that um, LGBTI people face challenges in terms of, you know, issues of gender-based violence wherever sure. they are. It doesn't uh, matter the country that they're in. Yeah. It's not only in Namibia, but wherever you go, um, people that identify as queer, they always face those challenges. Yeah. And it's because um, as communities, we haven't accepted uh, such people sure. we haven't come to a point where we understand that every person that is queer mm. it's not like they're abnormal it's not like they're demon or something yeah. they are human yeah. but in most cases you find that being queer is used against you especially mm. around families yeah. because you'd find that sometimes you'd find 
um, your own family, your own blood would yeah. come and do things that are, uh, are not good, that are violence to you, yeah. right? So we've realized that every community faces that. Even yeah. now in Namibia, we know that mm. in the past months, there were, you know, a lot of attacks that were happening. Sure. And it's still happening. In South Africa, we have what we call hate crimes, where people yeah. are killed because they identify as queer. Yeah. So as we celebrate also the 16 days of activism, we want to make sure that people understand that queer people are normal and they mm. need to be treated with respect and dignity and they yeah. shouldn't be abused because of the bodies that they own. Because I feel as a person, every person has the right to own the body, mm. uh, I mean, the, to own their body the way they feel it's good mm. for them yeah. and no one should question that, right? No. So you'd find that most lesbians, they suffer because they represent themselves as lesbians. Like mm. the way I represent, yeah. for me, another man would think that they would need to correct me for who I am. Mm. Imagine. Know? So those things are very critical and we need to go start communicating to our communities, to our families. We need to start having serious conversations about these things because it's important for us to respect each other as human. Yeah. yeah. And how do you envision the event impacting the local community and those in attendance? Uh, I love the fact that the event doesn't only bring Namibians, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It brings people from different countries. So we've got people from Botswana, yeah. uh, Zambia and uh, Kenya yeah. that are here to celebrate Pi Pop Up. And for yeah. me, it will be a learning space. It will be a space for us to network, to share ideas, yeah. to also understand each other's work wherever we're coming from. Yeah. We came to Namibia because we trust that the work that is happening here, it's powerful work. Yeah. It's meaningful work and the space needs to be shared with all of us. Yeah. And that's why on Saturday it will be a space for all of us to just chill, yeah. relax and enjoy, but get to know each other and yeah. also learn from each other around the kind of work that we do in other countries and how we do that work. Because yeah. politics are there, but it's important for us to share our politics and understand how we stand together. Mm. Because if we stand in solidarity, then it means that we are able to fight the challenges that we are facing every yeah. day. 100%. I myself have actually attended one of the volumes, I think maybe one or two of the volumes uh, of uh, the Pride pop-up. And uh, since then, I don't know, for some reason, the organizers, Zindri, I'm adding you here. I'm not looking at you, but I'm adding <laughs> at you uh for, for for most part of things the the date always clashes or has been clashing yeah. since my last attendance <laughs> there's always something happening this coming saturday as a matter of fact um so much is happening as well so unfortunately i won't be able to attend but uh, the next one i believe maybe you should check with me first like what are you doing on this date <laughs> <laughs> that's how we plan it there's yeah. always going to be something somewhere somewhere else Perfect. happening yeah. It's yeah. Going to kiss off. yeah and i and, and i remember it being, you know, something very nice to be a part of. Um, in terms of uh, the people that, that are going to be there this time around, um, you know, b b perhaps share with us what they can look forward to in terms of performances, activities, and uh, interactive experiences at the event. I'm always excited for this part of the event because there's always something new, something different. Yeah. And for example, our host, our main host for this yeah. event is Nomsa, by <laughs> the way, yeah. who will be killing it on stage, yeah. being the MC. And we also have the likes of Jane Aaron, yeah. who will be taking up the red carpet space and just some, do some beautiful behind the scenes uh, interviews with our attendees. Yeah. And we also have the likes of DJ Roxy, we have DJ Collision, oh, nice. we have Gigi Has Arrived, as well as Top Cherry, just okay. to mention a few. And I think uh, it's important that artists also show up for the community. Mm -hmm. And these yeah. artists are people that have been showing up for Pride Pop Up. They have yeah. been standing in solidarity yeah. and they've made their voices loud enough for everybody to hear that, hello, yeah. you should wake up. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the message that we're trying to send out here. We're almost running out of time here. Maybe one more question for you, Zendri and then we wrap things up uh, and I'm sure everybody is dying to find out right now when, where, how much, what time all right, when, etc. Uh, yeah. We are in the Brewers Market Complex, uh -huh. all chopsies, Saturday, <laughs> 12 o'clock. That's when yeah. the gates open. Tickets yeah. are $50 in advance yeah. and $80 at the gate. Yeah. The tickets are also available at Pick and Pay as well as web tickets. Mm -hmm. If you want to know more about the event, do follow us on Pride Pop-Up Namibia on Instagram yeah. as well as Pride Pop-Up Namibia on Facebook. And yeah, you can always email us all details 
details are on the post. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking our time, guys, to talk to us. Unfortunately, our time has uh, run out. Wishing you all the best for the event. And uh, welcome back for the fourth time, uh, Nomsa. Thank you so much, and, and uh, see you on Saturday. Please right. do pop in. Try. There Try. you go. Uh, just before we officially close off, perhaps, Henry, those social platforms again. Bright Pop-Up Namibia on Instagram. Yeah. Bright Pop-Up Namibia on Facebook. Yeah. As well as Bright Pop-Up Namibia on Gmail. Yeah, bright pop up Namibia at gmail.com. And yeah. There you have it. An experienced stage manager and production coordinator, Zindri Swart, as well as the national coordinator at Iranti Org from Johannesburg, South Africa, uh, Nom Samanzini, talking to us about uh, the pop up Pride Bash, which is happening this coming Saturday at etc. Old Chopsies. When I say Old Chopsies, you know exactly where it is. So show up in numbers 12 noon this coming Saturday. It's forming part of the 16 days of activism against gender based violence, of course, uh, building up to the uh, Human Rights Day, which we will be commemorating on the 10th of uh, December uh, this year. As a matter of fact, we do that every single year. Checking out a song by one of the performers uh, for the day. It's Top Cherry on a song called Money. This